not sure about this, you know. Well, where else are we going to go? Well, can Gran even isolate with all us like that? Oh, she'll be fine. She can stay in her room. She's got an ensuite. Does she even have enough beds for us all? Oh, yeah, you're going to have to stay on the sofa with the dog. Oh, I'm not sleeping on that sofa. Why? Because it's corduroy. Last time I slept on it, I woke up with a face like an underdone panini. Look, I am doing my best, given the situation that we are in, OK? Yeah, and I'm just annoyed that my house is now officially a designated death trap. Right, it's going to be fine. We'll just put your... Oh, that's really interesting, Granny Audrey face on. Why? Because on the phone, she's already started banging on about St. Weather's well thing story. Oh, that for the millionth time. Hey, you've had a spot of bother. What if by spots you mean the giant crater that's in the back garden? Then yeah, we have. Why? How do you know about it? The corpse bride was spouting off in the cafe. More to the point, why do you care? I don't like seeing my neighbours in trouble. I'd be happy to put you all up in my hotel in town till you can move back in. You do know there's six of us, right? After what you did to Bethany, you can stuff that. Call it my way of making amends. Call it a guilty conscience. No thanks. Well, pardon me for offering a luxurious stay in a five-star hotel. Does it have a hot tub? Yeah. And a sauna. Oh, I definitely love hot tubs, and I'd love to stay in a luxury hotel. Really? Best give Nina a ring, then. See if she fancies an overnighter. Hope you've got a room with coffins in. <laughs> Could just stay in your room. So no Nina then. Just you. All right. How was the hot tub? Hot. Where's everyone? Uh, Gail's putting a film on for the kids, and Sarah's trying to think of ways of how to make this as expensive as possible for Ray. The last time I checked, she'd half emptied the minibar. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. Come listen to this. David, it's Nina. I tried showing her, but her phone was off. Tell her I was putting the bins out, and I saw her. I saw the parakeet. Or it might have been a different one. And Roy says he's seen half a dozen in the past month. Anyway, just wanted to let her know. Bye. Now, do you believe me? I never said I didn't. You didn't say you did. <sighs> you know this morning, like, when I said I wanted the old show in the back, well, I was wrong. You don't want me back? No, I, I don't mean that. I mean, I need to get to know the new one, not the old show. Oh, I see. So is that something you want to do as well? Do you want to get to know each other a bit more? Yes, please. All right, well, how about you grab a couple of menus and we have dinner together? Like old times? Like new times. It's all there. Forgive me, trust isn't one of my strong suits. You're lucky to get that at all. What are you on about? He went perfectly. Is that a joke? I had to find out about it from some goth in a calf. And you could have killed someone. You wanted me to give him a scare without damaging the house. I think I did a pretty good job giving the brief. You were supposed to do it at night. I did. But it's impossible to guarantee when the actual collapse will happen. I mean, you can't make an appointment with a sinkhole. <laughs> Honestly. I expected a bit more gratitude. It's just not as clean as I would have liked. Well, we've both got around dirty now. You're not wrong. So what's next? Next. Next, I find out what Mr. Platt will do to get out of this hole. <laughs> <laughs>